Hello, Dr. Fizz here, AKA Professor Michael Reese. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube because we've had Hurricane Helene uh, hit us and we're still recovering from that, getting house repairs and things done. I will include a video I took of Helene the morning it hit us uh, in the description below. The course I'm going to describe here is one on normal gravity, and that gives us a formula where each point on the Earth, we have the gravitational field. Now, we're going to take the Earth to be shaped more oval, we would say, in the ellipse of revolution, uh, or rotate about the vertical axis, and we could refer to that as an oblate spheroid. So we have to deal with ellipsoidal coordinates, very, very um, advanced. But I want my courses to be available for anyone that has three semesters of calculus and two semesters of physics with calculus, you know, as a base for the introductory physics course. Now, this goal is going to be single-minded goal. We want to derive the Somiliana, not Somiliana, the G is a silent, Somiliana formula, which dates back to 1929. Beautiful formula. And to do that, we're going to cover a lot of mathematical physics and physics to get up to that point. Now, in my style of the previous lectures I put up, all steps are shown. And we even go back to high school and review the ellipse and master what the ellipse is. We work with two dimensions first and the coordinate systems in two dimensions, the elliptic coordinates, before we even get to three dimensions, because eventually we have to deal with a version of the coordinates for an ellipsoid. And there are a few of those uh, around, but we'll pick one that we'll be working with to solve our problem. And that will require the Laplacian in ellipsoidal coordinates. And when I was in college, uh, as a physics major, we saw the Laplacian in spherical coordinates for the hydrogen atom. And boy, was that, that was hard enough. All right, so this is even beyond that. But all steps will be shown. We'll be discussing curvilinear coordinates uh, in three dimensions to work up to this. And the solution will include uh, Legendre polynomials. We'll have a complete section on a chapter on the Legendre polynomials. And then for convergence, we'll have to go back to series uh, that you study in uh, calculus. I think it's calculus two. We'll have to understand when series converges and when they don't converge. And we'll have to uh, look at you know, the gravi Newton's law of gravity and the effect of rotating, uh, rotating Earth, and that's going to affect the gravitational uh, field around the Earth. So it's really a, a cool course. I really like this course because it focuses on one name, the Somiliana formula, and so much mathematical physics is required to understand that. And we will cover everything in great detail over 26 chapters labeled A through Z. So I hope you enjoy this course, which will show every step. And if you know a lot of the stuff, you can jump into the later chapters, no problem. Um, or you can just enjoy looking from beginning uh, to the end. Uh, there are books, traditionally, you would, for example, take course in geodesy, which studies the Earth, its uh, coordinate system for the Earth, its orientation and gravity. Uh, that's a very important subject, so we'll be doing a lot of geodesy, but we'll be focusing on the one goal of the normal gravity, while a geodesy book would have other things. And for the mathematical physics, we'll be focused on mathematical physics that we need for the formula we're going to be deriving, while a mathematical physics course will have uh, other stuff, you know, all stuff. But we go over so much stuff in here, it's really a comprehensive uh, mathematical physics preparation for you. So we'll do Legendre polynomials, for example, we'll do Hermy polynomials, with mathematical physics course, we do Hermy polynomials and Laguerre polynomials. We'll focus on 
a genre, but the same technique is there in using an infinite series to solve. So uh, I hope that being focused on one formula in this course will keep your interest up uh, rather than say uh, the complementary uh, books that cover everything about a discipline and they're good to do also, but we're not competing with those. They're a separate thing. Uh, here, we're gonna be focusing on one goal and all the mathematical physics and all the steps to get to that one goal. So we complement the traditional books in geodesy and mathematical physics, which I have found extremely useful and where I've learned so much. So I wanna encourage you to also consult such texts. And as I go along with the lectures, we are gonna be putting the uh, lecture notes that show the calculations uh, in, on my uh, website, drfizz.com, you know, as we go. So I hope you enjoyed the course. Uh, I sure enjoyed studying this and it's a uh, gradual level of work by the time you get done here. And I, you know, it challenged me. Uh, this is ellipsoidal, you know, coordinates. It's uh, not an easy thing to get around, but I found an outstanding paper by um, Hora in 1971 that helped me understand it a lot better than some of the other traditional approaches that you may find. So I, I think this is gonna be worth your while if you have an interest in normal gravity and geodesy and mathematical physics. See you at the next video.